I don't think it's quite my first love, but it's one of my first loves. It's Van's time. What's good guys, Ash Bash, back again with another episode of Ash Bash's Top 5, and today it's Vans time. So yes, Vans. Vans is probably one of the first sneaker sort of brands that I started collecting, mainly because back in the day they were super duper cheap, could cop a nice pair for like £25 or whatever. I started with Vans slip-ons and then went on to all sorts of different stuff. Most of my vans were just like standard GR basic ones, but I've got a couple more exciting ones over the years and those five have made my top five. So let's get to it. So in at number five is a pair of vans that I actually need to do a review for still. But here's a little sneak peek. It is the Vans Authentic Off The Wall Repeat. Boom. This sneaker is very, very cool. Sort of like a collaboration with Ray Palanca Jr. He is a photographer and a sneaker uh, head. Came up with these ideas, but I will talk more about it in my review. But here's a quick sneak peek. Buy a sneaker that you can get for the super low. Check it out, number five. In at number four is a pair of Vans that I'm tr trying to think where I first saw it. I'm not sure where I first saw it to inspire me to want a pair, but I ended up copying it from an American site while I was in Dubai on holiday. because It seemed to be the only place that was selling it. But it is the Veggie Tan Vans Old School. Boom. Super fire sneaker. I love the Veggie Tan color. Kind of looks like an off pinkish, salmonish sort of color. But super dope. Obviously, lovely vintage leather. Fire, fire, a fire shoe. Uh, super cool. And I also love that the logo itself is like the same color as the rest of the shoe. I've seen a lot of Vans in shops since. I thought I'd saw them. I was like, oh, they sell them everywhere now but they normally have like a white uh, Vans little strip hair, but this one is plain, old school vibes, can't go wrong. In at number three is a collaboration with Double Taps and it is, boom, the authentic. And these are just super fire. Once I saw them, I had to go for them. They came in two different colors, maybe three. I know there was a blue color, but the black one stood out to me. It's a shoe that I can wear when I wanna, not class it up, but they can get away with being sort of like a classy shoe has this sort of snakeskin vibe to it. Instead of saying Vans, it says Double Taps hair. Just a very clean shoe. I think I've got a review for it on my channel, so check that out if you haven't seen it before. In at number three. In at number two on my channel was, back in the day, one of my most viewed video reviews, funny enough. It is the Vans Authentic Golden Coast. Boom. Uh, classic sneaker. You can't go wrong with some checkerboard Vans in that sort of beige and black colorway. These are called the Gold Coast or Golden Coast. I can't remember which is which, but yeah, can't go wrong. I need to rock these more, probably more of a summer shoe. I don't like, some people like beaten Vans. I don't mind them, but not in certain colors. I don't want to beat these too much. I like to keep them as clean as I can, but yeah, buy a shoe in at number two. And in at number one, kind of a wild <laughs> looking shoe, but I love it. And when I saw it online, I think I got it for cheap. I can't remember where I got it from. I think it was Offspring back in the day. There's a collaboration with Liberty and it is a Vans old school. Boom. Uh, super duper crazy. Like they've got this crazy flower pattern all over the shoe. A dope print. Looks like a sort of a high end print, I guess. Liberty collab and all that. But yeah, very dope. The blue and white. Blue and sort of, it's not even white. It's like a blue and sort of sail colorway with the print with the black logo here, the white laces. Super fire. I have considered putting black laces in it to see if it sets it off even more. But I think the white breaks it up nicely. But yes, end of the video, number one. And that is the list for this week, my top five. As I said before, put down in the comments below your top five vans, if you have five vans, and also give me suggestions for what sort of top fives you'd like me to do, whether it being a sneaker, a sneaker brand, a sneaker model, or music, anything. And I'll get my top fives done. Anywho, check in every Friday for another top five from me. Follow me on Instagram, Ashbash Sneakers, and my Twitter is Perfection7. All the links down below for all the information you will need. I'm out. Later, y'all.